Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need your very own website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Henry Turner. Goodness me, it is absolutely one of those mornings where forget about that, forget about the photography. This is just stunning, and it is nothing more than a privilege. Look at that, let me darken that down for you so you can see the beauty. Do you know what? Everything's just so nice and subtle best part of this scene and then what's going to be the photograph as well is this little bit here look at it it's coming right into us there that lovely strip of sort of light absolutely gorgeous so welcome back to the channel guys we're in north wales it's the first official trip i suppose with the little blue jay with the camper van and uh, a bit of a micro photography adventure just to try it out really see how we get on i'll probably show you it a little bit later but i'll tell you what it's so quiet this morning i feel like i'm shouting Waking, waking up all the nature. So sunrise, if you can't tell, it's currently quarter past five. Sunrise is in about two minutes. And this was one of those rare occasions at this beautiful little mountain lake here in Snowdonia where I've got to the location where I am now. The scene has unfolded itself in front of me and I've actually started setting up the tripod before I even bother getting the camera out because it's so obvious to me here that I need to do a panel, or at least to do a panel to start off today's adventure. Um, and I'll show you the main reason why is we've got this in the middle, keeping this simple here, this in the middle, we've got this beautiful looking peak there, look at that, how cool is that? And then I'll spin you around, Ugh! on that side, look at that, we've got another peak there. And the two peaks are sort of like, look at that one up there, sort of balancing out um, the panorama on the left and right side really nicely i was going to use nd filters here to smooth out this water but because it's so dark because we're so early the shutter speed is one second and i thought i'll do a panel like this anyway and then i'll stick the nd filter on the front but one second as i'm sure you know is, is a fairly slow shutter speed and on the back of the camera at least i quite like it because you can probably see here we are getting loads of ripples but the one second is like smoothing it out slightly so you still get these like subtle ripples throughout the water you know this lake it's playing a huge part of this photograph. You know, it's the bottom half of the, the whole image, really. So it's important that I get the movement of this water right. And I just quite like that one second. So I'm going to leave it at that. And yeah, it's about five or six shots. Left to right, right to left, whichever you prefer. F11 and ISO 64. And it, I tell you what, it just feels right to start off the morning with a panel in this Gorgeous location. <sighs> I don't know if it's fair to say this, but this is a really good, can you hear the cuckoo? Maybe it's not gonna pick that up, but um, I'll get back to what I was chatting about. I think this is a really good example of why we should arrive at locations early for sunrise, you know? Because everything that I've captured this morning has been pre-sunrise, albeit only a couple of minutes before the sunrise. And it's the same as sunset, isn't it? How I always say when I'm on the fell, stick around for like 10 minutes at, at least after the sunset because sometimes things are better after the sunset or before the sunrise. But I suppose you never really know, do you? So you can't really say that. But if you can, you might as well. I mean, this is probably the first benefit that I'm getting from the van is that ease of being able to come to a sunrise like 20 minutes before. I'll tell you what, this is just unreal. In my haste as well, look at this. I've 
got the Addies on. So I already need to go back to the van to put the hiking boots on because I want to do a little bit of a circular of this little lake here, I think. <sighs> what a treat! Goodness me guys, forget everything that I said earlier about getting to your sunrise location early. Everything here is kicked off about 35 minutes past the sunrise. That's a joke by the way to any beginners, always get here early. Just so happens in this instance, everything's happened after the sunrise. Of course it has, because I tried to give you that tip. Anyway, I was very well positioned. I didn't realise, I'll show you. I was lucky. I was well close to the little shoreline, the, the van. It's only there, the car park's just there. So I legged it back down, pretty much put my tripod in exactly the same spot and I've got the same panel. The colours were incredible across the lake. Do you know what it was? It was like when you get that sunrise or sunset, but when you've got loads of low moody cloud as well and the orange all sort of merges into the grey and the black. Ah, it's wonderful. So I'll show you this panel in a second. I assume it was better because the colours were better, but I've taken a second shot, I think, to be honest, is going to be a, a, the pick of the bunch. You see we've got this beautiful little island here. Um, and then the big moody looking mountain there, sinister looking thing. And it's just sort of those two, we have these, these like merges of colours, like I said, between the oranges and the blacks and the dark greys, it looked incredible. And I zoomed in a bit further, about 50 mil, 55 mil, something like that. Uh, I don't know if I can try and show you, but look, you could maybe, oh God, you can maybe see here how we get them colours. There you go. You can see it a little bit. It was just like a subtle little area of that orange. Um, F14, ISO 64, and I've still managed to get a one second exposure because I'm at F14 and because I've put my Nissi polarizer filter on the front, um, which is acting as like a bit of a weak neutral density filter, if you will, but it definitely helped to bring out some of those deep colors as well. And of course, get rid of some of the glare on the lake. Absolutely wonderful. So I'll show you any of those images now from the second little photo shoot down at the shoreline. I hope you like them. And then I'd like to do a little bit of an explore because look what we've got guys. Some of my favorites we've got. Look in the background. Oh, we've got the moody cloud. Can you see him? Look at that. Oh, what a treat. down bow. sorry if there's any wind noise guys we're on a bit of a peak now and we're getting blasted here but yeah we've had a little bit of a downpour which was forecast in all fairness and now you may be able to tell behind it's slowly starting to brighten up just slightly which is a good sign for the day although I probably shouldn't say that I'll end up jinxing it I'll start nailing it down um, so I just spotted this little hill from back near the van to be honest where we were taking the first set of photographs and I just wanted a vantage point over some of the lakes you can see down here. That is a shot that I've already taken. So simple, barely even need to talk about it. We've got the same mountain in the background that was on the left-hand side 
of the original panel, but he looks completely different from this perspective, which is brilliant. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not a bad shot, you know, a bit, bit of a snapshot, I suppose, but it's the clouds, it's those clouds that I love, absolutely gorgeous, loads of detail. And then all I've done is spun the camera around to face this direction, because over there, we've got this really nice sort of ridge line. And again, I've just wanted to do a panel to capture um, that ridge line because as we go from right to left with him he merges into a bigger hill that's just shrouded in some dark moody clouds absolutely gorgeous and then even above the ridge line there's some nice clouds as well and I suppose in a lot of ways I like the colors of this scene you know um, compared to the greys and the blacks of the, the, the clouds the fields in front of us here which I'm using as foreground in this particular shot feel quite vibrant you know there's some roads there's some dry stone walls there's some sheep dotted about it feels like a very lonely barren sort of landscape it's wonderful um, and yeah that was only about four shots left to right f11 iso 64 a one quarter of a second but i'm glad i came up here to be honest even just for the view it's wonderful but it's definitely starting to clear up a bit right back to the van because i've got a date with a bacon bun Absolutely brilliant, so the bacon's on the go. We've got a little bit of orange juice, a bit of saft on the go as well. Living the dream. I'll tell you what, it's class because it's the first time I'm getting any fruits of my labor, you know. This van build was tough going and there were days when I was thinking like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? And it's nice, you know, to finally have some payback from it, quality. So whilst the bacon's sizzling away, I wanna say another huge thanks to Squarespace for kindly sponsoring today's video. If you don't know who Squarespace are, um, it's a platform or a, a website actually that you can go on and create your own website. I've used them myself for over three years now um, and it's how I run my photography business really. I wouldn't be able to do it without Squarespace. Um, they've got fantastic customer service. It's a great place just to display your work as well if you're just wanting it you know, as a portfolio. You don't have to sell your prints. I know a lot of you guys are into that sort of thing as well. Um, but yeah, it's it's fantastic because you can put all your you know your high quality photographs up there. It's not like Instagram where it's a tiny little square, you know. Sorry, just turning the old bacon around. And um, yeah, I mean, like I just mentioned, if you do want to sell products on there as well, that is an option. That's obviously exactly what I do with my eBooks, my prints, my calendars. When that time comes around, I suppose that won't be too far off. Um, and you know I advertise my one-to-one -one workshops on there all sorts and it's fantastic and um, I, I wouldn't be without my Squarespace website put it that way so big thanks um, to them again for their support really appreciate it. if you want to give them a go go to squarespace.com forward slash Henry Turner and be sure to use the offer code Henry Turner at checkout to get 10% off your first purchase brilliant right time for the bacon bun Much better. Ah, so I'm gonna leave this location now, and ah, it's been quality here, yeah. really, really cool. Um, yeah, I, I fancy myself a little bit of a hike, but <laughs> that is gonna be next week's video. So for me and the Blue Jay and beautiful Snowdonia, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Out.